Nathaniel, congratulations. What an environment to win in. The confidence your team had to come into Houston and win the last two games, remarkable. Did you guys know you were going to pull this off after you saw Seager go deep in the first? I mean, it felt felt pretty good after seeing him get that first run across and jump on him early. And then, you know, you prep all day to get ready for a starter and the first six guys knock him out. I don't even have a chance to get to him. So anytime we get something like that going, you know, hey, we're, we're pretty happy with it. Hey, Nathaniel, you guys have had this bounce back ability all year. I was talking with Greg and and before you came on, I just thought game six, what a start you guys got from Nathan Eovaldi. Without Eovaldi, there would not have been a game seven. Yes. Yeah, I agree, man. He's been great. Every time he's gotten the ball for us, he goes out there and competes. And even in the regular season, he gets a little banged up. He still wants to take the ball and go out there and give it his best. But, you know, when, when he's got a good thing going like this, uh, it feels like it feels like every time he gets on the hill, we got a good thing coming. Hey, Nathaniel, talk about the adjustments you guys made from game five. Elevation of the fastball is all we talked about till tonight. You guys made that adjustment and made those guys pay. Yeah, I mean, five at home, that was that was Verlander, right? Like, you know, we're dealing with a pitcher that yeah. caliber uh, in a situation like that. He's going to have his best stuff, and, and he really was dominant there for a little while. And then um, we did a good job to compete. Obviously lost that one down at the end of it, but we felt like we had a really good thing, really good thing going on for us coming back in here. And then, you know, obviously Evo goes, goes out there and puts it on the line for us yesterday. And, we're able to score, and uh, today we, we come right back away and, and uh, jump on them early, and that's that's all you can really ask for. Hey, Nathaniel, it's Dan again. What What is this magic that Bruce Bochy, what, what is it that, that makes him what he is? He's just so calm, man. You know, he's uh, he's the same guy every day. It feels like he's uh, he's always got a smile on his face. He's happy to be around baseball. Obviously, CY and the ownership group pulling him out of retirement to come to us. Uh, you know, he knew he was getting into a pretty good situation, and then now we're – in a situation where we can win the whole thing is really cool. So yeah. the highs weren't too high for him. The lows weren't too low in the regular season. When things got slow, he was the same guy every day. Uh, I never really saw him jump on anybody or have to do anything that was kind of out of pocket. He just let he just let the guys find our way through our struggles. And you know he's he's won for longer than I've been around. So I think he's I think he's managed for as long, if not longer than I've been alive. So it's a, it's pretty cool coming to work for that guy. There's another game seven coming up in the National League side. Will you be rooting for one of the two teams, the Diamondbacks or the Phillies? Not really. I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a great test either way. I, I don't really think that there's one that we match up better or worse against. As long as we play our baseball, we're going to have a chance to bring it home. So, you know, I, I think that it's going to be a great World Series. Nathaniel Lowe, off to the fall classic. That sounds great, man. Enjoy the party. We appreciate your time, okay? Thank you, guys.